Hi everyone, so today I'm going to teach you how to make a granny square. So if you're a crocheter, you should know how to make a granny square. It's one of the easiest thing that you can do for your projects, like big projects. You can make a clothing out of it. You can also make blankets or whatever you can think of. It's a very easy project. So um, for us to be ready with this um, project, the granny square, you're going to need some things like um, you're going to need a hook, so I'm using 3.0 hook, and you're going to need um, a pair of scissors to cut your wool, and you're going to need a ball of yarn, alright? So depending on what you want. So I guess you already know how to position your fingers and how you can start, right? Okay, so open your palm and then... You can see it in your pinky, twirl it around, then to your index finger, and then make sure that your thumb and your ring finger is going to hold on to the almost at the end of the yarn. Okay? Now, the next thing is you're going to. Alright, you're going to adjust the yarn first. Um, and position your fingers well that you're comfortable with, all right? So start is twirl around using your hook, bring the yarn to your um, thumb and into your ring finger, and then twirl again, like get um, that piece of yarn, and then get in, and then that's a single chain all right now pull the thread that's your knot so because we don't want to let go of it okay so that's one two three four five and then you go back to the first single chain Everyone has its own way of doing this, but this is how I do it, okay? All right, now make sure you get all the chains. And then, don't worry, I'm going to teach you how to insert that one. Okay, now I want you to make two single chains. All right, one, two, and then twirl, twirl one. Go back to the ring, to the middle of that circle, twirl, I mean get one, and then you make double chain. So that's one, and then two. Okay, I want you to make, um, in one cluster, there should be two double chains. So that's one, and then two, so this is the third one. Okay, so that's one, and then two. Now... So, we're going to make four clusters, but after each cluster, you're going to make or you're going to do four single chains. So, it's like imagine east, west, north, and south, but each cluster um, has four chains in between them, all right? Okay, so because you just imagine like we are making a square, so that's... Um, well, since we're making at the corner, so you're going to make four chains, so two chains in each corner. Anyways, you will see it later. Okay, that's two, three, and four. Okay, now I want you to twirl and then go back to the ring or the middle of the ring and then two double chains. So that's one and then another one two, another one, then three. Then repeat the process. Make another four single chains. So that's one, two, three, four. Now twirl and then go back to the middle of the ring and then one, two. So that's one um, double chain, so two, 
and then three. Okay, now we need one more cluster. So make another four chain. So that's the end of the um, first layer of our um, granny square. Four, and then twirl. Go back to the middle. And then make double chains. Good, and then another one. Um, so if you can see, it's already forming like a square now, right? And that one, you can just insert it as you go. That's how I do it, but some people do it the different way. But this is just how I do it, okay? And then you can actually cut it if you want to. Then, okay, just make four squares, uh, four single chains, three, and then four. And then find the first chain or at the end of that first double chain, if you've noticed. So then just, you know, just look at it if it's already like a square. All right, so I'm really doing it very slowly so that you can see. All right, see now? Okay, I'll, let's cut this one out. All right. And don't worry, we will insert that later. Anyway, this is just the start of the project. So now we're going to make the second layer. Alright, so we'll, we'll just um, do the second square now. So, um, see, one, two, three, four, or north, south, east, west. Now, I want you to reverse it or like flip it, if that's the right term. And then, so you're gonna have to start in the corner, okay? So, once you're in the corner, you're going to make another double chain there, and then twirl. So, just the same process. Um, and it's very quick and easy, right? So, and still the same, because you're in the corner, it's always for um, single chains, okay? So that it will have a very good form. And um, it's not gonna be like crinkly, you know. And um, guys, I just want you to know that in crocheting, there's really no um, right way or wrong way. So that's what I've learned. It's really based on how creative you are. And although there's a lot of people who's showing a lot of um, ways on how to do it, but as you go along and as you always do crocheting, um, you can just learn your own style and technique. Okay, so, yep. So let's just go on and then I'm gonna be just doing this quickly. And don't worry because if you're just a beginner, um, you will surely have, um, <laughs> you know, if you can have a lot of time crocheting, then you'll be faster. And my God, it's very addicting, this thing. All right, so just gonna finish this one. There we go. I'm not really very good in editing videos yet, but I'm gonna have to learn that quick. And, but I hope you find this video helpful and not bore you. All right, there we go. So it's gonna be a bit um, long video, but I'm just showing you how it's done. So four, and then we're almost done with a second layer. So that's the last cluster now. Two, and then three, and then the same thing will happen. Just two chains if it's just a space in between two clusters, as long as it's not in the corner, okay? And then there we go. Now, again, you have to flip it or reverse it. So start um, doing the third um, layer of the granny square. So, see, it's already forming like a square, right? Now reverse, and then same thing will happen. Do that cluster and the threes, and then just two um, single chains, so that's one, 
two and then twirl and do the cluster again. All right, and then so that's two. I hope I'm not very quick for you guys, but yeah, that's how you do it. So once you have the momentum, it's just so easy, you know, and it's quite relaxing for me to um, do crocheting and I tell you it's very good for your mental health and I'm really very passionate about crocheting you can do a lot of things with it and you can bring it anywhere uh, two so we're almost done guys so that's two and then three so another two single and then you're in the corner now so I'm just going to get more yarn so that's two three no four single chains and then almost there and then two single chains one, two, three, two single chains, one, two, and then twirl, and then you're at the corner now, so just one, two, three, and then four single chains now, so that's one, two, three, four, twirl, another cluster, and then that's second, and then three and then two single chains one two and go to the next um thing two and then three and another two single chains one two and go to the next corner and then two three then four single chains one two three four twirl and we're almost done so two, three, and then you're going to make two single and then close it. Yeah? Okay. Then make sure that at the end of this one, you better um, um, check it out if it has a good form, and I think it is. So just make sure that you the grip should be um, very tight. And then, let's see, that's how I do it. Now just cut it. Okay. And then set it aside. So, this is just going to be the start of our project. So, we're just making a lot of granny squares like this. And you know what? I've already done a lot of it. So, maybe I have like maybe four or square, four or five squares. I'll show you and then another one here and then later on um, in our next video I'm also going to teach you how to connect all of these um, granny squares and you'll see it's gonna be a very very interesting project and um, it's up to you and what what next you can do so well thank you very much guys and I'm very happy that you're watching this video if you've watched it till the end. So please don't forget to subscribe and um, follow me. Bye!